Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the accessibility options that are built into watchOS 8 and iOS 15 for your Apple Watch device. This will allow you to control your Apple Watch by simple hand gestures such as tapping your fingers together or clenching your fist. This is a really great way to navigate your watch and can help many different people. It's a pretty simple process to enable it and so I'll show you that process and then I'll show you how to use the different gestures. So let's get straight into the process. So we'll start by enabling the feature on the iPhone in the Apple Watch app so that then it can be used on the Apple Watch itself. So what we'll need to do is go over to the iPhone and then find the Apple Watch app. So I'll swipe over and you'll see that the Apple Watch app is there. It's a black icon with a little Apple Watch on it. So just tap that there and then you'll see a page similar to this. What you'll need to do is scroll down and just under general and display and brightness, you'll need to click on the accessibility tab. So just click it there. And then you'll see the accessibility opens up like so. Now, what you'll need to do is scroll down and then you'll see under motor, you can see it says assistive touch. So that's what this is called. So click on assistive touch and then you'll see a menu open up like this one. Now you've got a few options here. What you'll need to do is enable assistive touch by turning this little toggle on. So we'll turn it on there. And once assistive touch is enabled, we can then go to hand gestures and we can see the different options here. So I'll see that one pinch equals a forwards tap, a double pinch equals a backwards tap, a clench of the fist equals just a normal tap and a double clench equals the action menu and you can customize each of these to whatever you want. So now let's take a look at the Apple Watch itself and we'll have a look at some of these gestures. So we'll put the iPhone down for now. And with the Apple Watch, we can see that there's now a blue bar that lights up whenever we wake up the device. So if we tap it here, there's now a blue bar around it. That's signi signifying that accessibility features are now enabled on this device. So this is a little bit hard to film here, so um, I'll try my best. So with the Apple Watch, what you'll need to do is to initiate the assistive touch settings is you'll need to start by double clenching. So we'll double clench now. And you'll see that it makes a little sound and it's now selected the sleep icon. So if we now clench on that, it will now open the selected app. So now we can double clench and it will open the action menu. And with our tap function, so if I just start tapping through this, you'll see that it's starting to tap. So I'm just doing a singular tap on my finger and it's tapping through the options. If I double tap, it'll then start going backwards. And then I can do a single clench to tap on an option. So if I clench now and press crown, it now goes back to the home page because that's what it would usually do if you press the crown at that stage. Now, if I just start tapping, it'll tap through the different options. So now I can tap on a decibel meter and I'll click, I'll tap, clench once to tap and you'll see it's opened the decibel meter. Now, if I double clench again and I go through and I, uh, let's say we now tap through this menu by doing single taps and then we try um, sleeping the display. Then we do a clench. Oh, it misregistered that. We'll go back over to sleep display and clench, and now it's slept the display. So now if we wake it back up, we can then double clench again, and double clench again, and then press clown with one clench, and it will now go back to the home page. And once again, you can just tap to go forward once, or double tap your fingers to go backwards. So yeah, and as I said earlier, you can customize each and every one of these settings in the Apple Watch app. So if I open it here, 
we could change the pinch to be any one of these options here. There's heaps of options. You can customize it to whatever works for you best. So yeah, this is a really great and easy feature that you can use uh, to really help you use your Apple Watch device to its full potential and allows you to navigate it much easier in certain circumstances, especially if you are unable to touch it easily or need some assistance doing that. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success with enabling assistive touch features on your Apple Watch device. Be aware though that you will need watchOS 8 and iOS 15 uh, installed on your devices for this to work. So make sure that you have those updated first. And I think initially it works on the Apple Watch SE Series 6 and Series 7, but I have heard some reports that Series 4 and Series 5 devices are getting this feature as well. So it's really handy. And I really hope that Apple continues to roll this out to more devices in the future. Thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.